Hello, this is a look at the best throws and best submissions from the men's judo event at the Budapest Grand Slam on day one. This flying Uranage was truly a spectacle. If you saw it in a movie, you'd have to assume it could only be done by wires. This was a highly unusual throw. I'm guessing you're going to call it a Kataguruma. Typically Kataguruma, you throwing to the side. Let me know in the comments what you think. Now Hifumi Abe was back in international action, new hairstyle, throwing big with a one-handed sode set up with the Ashiwaza feint. After this Seo Toshi, we'll see the throw that impressed me most. He did an Ochigari, but it's nothing like an Ochigari you'd learn in a Judo class. Usually Ochigari is a reaping throw. You aim to sweep your opponent's leg from the mat, but he just steps behind like you might do in a stomping Osoto Gari. And he uh, just drove his opponent into the air. So here it is. So his uh, shoulder was under his opponent's shoulder. driving that sleeve and just stomping his leg behind his opponent's leg. Incredible Ochigari. And in the final, things actually started out a little bit slowly. It was almost as if Abe was thinking, well, I've already done one huge Sode Tsuri Komi Goshi with one hand, so why don't I try something different? So he switched from that sleeve control to this cross sleeve control into that Kochigari with a bit of a headbutt. Here you can see the importance of the head drive. And here it is, the finishing action. The one-handed Sode Tsuri Komi Goshi. His opponent was trying to grab round across the back for a cross grip. And Abe just intercepted him. What a star. And there was a masked man in action yesterday. Who was this mysterious masked man that showed up? Here he is, winning with Seo Toshi Ippon. I love that he made the switch to go for the Juji Gatame immediately after the throw. You can see from this angle, his opponent's landing and he's got this expression on his face like, who is this masked man? that I had to compete with out on the tatami today. And after the match, it was revealed that it was Valadier Picard of France. Now here's the best transition of the day. Sayonage to Udegatame, an elbow lock. So quick. Polish team often provides some fireworks when it comes to arm attacks. Big Uranage here. So here are some more submissions. So the Frenchman looking for a turnover here and we can see him grip his sleeves and then applies the pressure, straightening the arm and the submission comes pretty quickly. And the final clip for today is one for all my American viewers. This channel has a lot of American viewers but I don't think I've ever featured an American Ippon in my year or so of doing this channel. So here's one for you guys. Hopefully there'll be another one before the 2024 games. Subscribe for more non-stop Nawaza.